Hi, my name is Brian Birch. I will talk today about Solvency II and the role of accountants. So what is the relationship between Solvency II and the role of accountants? For some people it's not really a question. Solvency II is about actuaries and compliance people, possibly some IT, and why on earth would you need an accountant? Well, let's explore this deep technical area, Solvency II. All the details are not finalized yet, and it does involve many disciplines. So I'm going to use a clean language question format, which is a coaching method to understand some of the areas it will help us explore. And basically there are simple questions to look at the complex situations. Is there a relationship? What kind of anything else? Right, what kind of regulation is solvency to? Details are there that it has a deadline at the end of 2012 does apply to most insurance companies in the EU and it largely involves actuarial calculations of capital, governance and compliance and reporting. There are also strict rules in the data, it has to be complete, appropriate and accurate. Is there anything else about Solvency 2? It's complicated, there's a lot of consultation papers and some of them are quite lengthy. It can affect how capital is allocated in the business and it therefore may affect what kind of business one has. One might sell part of the business. A Aegon say that they, it may affect whether they domicile in the European Union or not. And Munich Reinsurance say that they, um, they will be selling different reinsurance cover because of the type of reinsurance firms need because of Solvency too. So some people see Solvency 2 as a burden, a regulation that they must comply with. For other people it's an opportunity to Im improve their reporting. What's the relationship between Solvency 2 and reporting? Well, reporting systems may be changing because of this. It may be added to and um, different data will be required. The question is who should own the reports? Who should own the reporting systems? Should it be the actuaries? risk people, the IT people or the accountants. All those departments will need to be inputting to some of the reports and at a higher level you may look at the business, look at the finance department and transform it and really decide who does what and where. Now what kind of reports need to be produced for Solvency 2? There are some that are required, profit and loss attribution, the Solvency and Financial Condition Report and the Report to Supervisor. A lot of work will go into ensuring that these are accurate and complete and relevant and also an insurance or reinsurance firm will need to look and see how all this links to their IFRS reporting. There are other types of reporting that are to some extent by choice each of the projects that will need to be done will have its own set of reports on, on uh, progress and will be management decisions such as managing capital um, that will require its own reporting and the progress of the capital model, the uh, ORSA and other areas of Solvency 2 will be needed to uh, be monitored. The data and the reports need to be accurate and they need to be consistent uh, over time and reconcile to other information that may be around. Is there a relationship between those reports and accountants? Well, the finance director may be heading Solvency 2 in over 10% of companies according to a SunGuard survey. Accountants may be supplying most of the, uh, the quantitative figures for the Solvency 2 reports. The entire project may affect the accounting and reporting systems. There may be many commercial decisions that accountants are involved in, um, understanding the capital, the assets liabilities, disposal, whether where one domiciles. Accountants may be the guardians of the data and the reports and ensure the governance and that everything reconciles. And accountants tend to be methodical and skilled with, with reporting systems. What needs to happen for those reports to be produced? You need to have the right reporting policies, well-managed data, accurate processing of the raw materials, work with the other departments. You need to have a planned, well-organized way of creating the reports and creating the reporting processes. 
as I've said, everything needs to reconcile. One needs to, at the beginning, understand the needs of the internal and external reporting, and one needs to d document everything that's happening. So what kind of accountants might help in this? Well, they need to be able to create uh, the, the policies and procedures for the data and reporting. They may need to have the right personal and professional qualities to get on with the job, to meet their deadlines. And they need to be the sort of people to liaise with the other departments. And all of this will happen in a context of risks and finances and the commercial uh, aspects of the company changing. So it's important to have accountants ready to be able to deal with those. I'm Brian Birch. I'm blogging about Solvency 2 as a way to understand it for my next role. I'm seeking something around accounting, reporting or systems either a permanent or contract role, I have a 2-1 degree in the SEMA accountant and of many years experience with Aviva, Hanover Reed, Deloitte and Ernst & Young. Please link on LinkedIn if you'd like to get in contact me, with me to network to keep your skills and knowledge up to date and of course mine and if you'd like to discuss Solvency 2 or the coaching questions that I used called Clean Language Facilitation then I'd be more than happy to um, hear from you. I also have an insurance accountants and Solvency 2 LinkedIn group where we discuss these sorts of issues. That's my LinkedIn uh, address and it's Brian P. Birch. Thank you.